Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, get subscribed. This is your number one place for Baseball 9 related content, guides, tips and tricks. How do you get better? How to improve your team? Today we're talking about how to set the lineup. So let's say you have a brand new team or maybe you recruited a brand new player and you want to put them into the lineup. Main page, go to that lineup tab and now you can switch out players. Let's say maybe I got a new catcher I want to put in. Maybe I got a new center fielder I want to put in. The DH can be any position, but please note that the position has to match. So if I want to put in a center fielder right here, Mike Trout for a left fielder, it's not going to work unless you have the multi-position enabled, but I would not worry about that. Don't waste your time or money on doing that. If you want to go to switch out pitchers, here you go. If you want to switch out maybe your starting lineup, whatever you want to do, you can switch out, you know, maybe different starting pitchers. Maybe you want to put in a new closer. Once again, the position has to match. So if it says SP, what you recruited them as, they can only be. You cannot change position. So starting pitchers can only go on the starting pitcher uh, lineup. Relievers can be any one of these. Primary setup, swing, mop. Or your secondary primary reliever and your closer has to be a closer. Now, how do I know what player is what position? When you go to recruit them, you will recruit a specific player position so starting pitcher is a different than a reliever closer is different than a reliever different than a starting pitcher center fielder every single position is different and you cannot change it after you recruit them so that's how you set your lineup if you go over to batting order this is how you set your batting order very easy you just click around you know whoever you want um, in what position you just click the names and they will switch to where you want them to go Maybe you want, you know, a speedster leading off. Maybe you want your power guys in the 3-4 slot to try to clear the bases. I have another video going over, you know, some things to think about when setting your lineup. Speed, OBS, contact, their power, all that stuff. Check out my video guide, but very easy how to change the bat order. And then one last way to change the batting order is if you go to play a game on this page right here, right before you jump into the game, there's a bat order. Same thing as before. You just click around and substitute. So some people might also ask, well, how do you change players during the middle of a ball game? Well, this is how you, you're on the main screen. You can either hit this jersey switch tab, or you can just go to the pause menu substitution. Here again, if you want to put in a pinch hitter, you can do that. And here you can put anybody in any position, but if they are not the position they're playing in, their fielding stats will be greatly reduced. For pitchers, I believe you have to have faced at least one batter before you can switch out your pitchers. And once you get into the ball game, you're, the only pitchers that are available to substitute will be relievers or closers. You can't select any of the other starters once you're in the ball game. Once the starter has started the game, that's the starter you're going to get. So. Quick guide and video today on how to set your lineup, how to switch out players, how to substitute players when you first maybe get new players or you want to switch things around. Let me know down below any other guides you want to see on this channel. I'll be sure to cover it real quick or if you haven't yet, go check out my Baseball 9 Tips playlist. I've made a ton of videos there going over how to upgrade your players, best way to get gems, best way to recruit players, how do you get coins. All that good stuff trying to make you better. Get your team as best as it could possibly get. Check out that playlist. But as always, get subscribed. Hit that like button if this video was useful. Join the Discord channel as well. Link in the description below. If you have any questions, you want to talk to the community, we're always happy to help. Thanks for watching. Peace.